Hello, my Pisces, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. We're reading for the 10th, 11th, and the 12th of February, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I hope you watch the breakthrough video. I go through a lot more overview and what's going on in the skies and the heavens, what's, you know, do a reading for the world also. I also tell you about myself and the cards, and it's where I also tell you to remember these are general readings. They may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. So that Saturn in Pisces that's going to be coming up, that's really very deep and mysterious right now. I'm not necessarily getting the whole clear picture. It does feel like it's it's a little bit, um, hmm, I don't know, maybe just because it's so unknown, um, it's a little unnerving. Now Pisces, I do like this. I did read this in somebody's, um, you know, in just overview and I'm so sorry that I can't cite my source on that. I think I've, uh, I think I posted it though. So, but I did hear that you know, like Pisces and Saturn. Remember, Pisces is dreamy. Pisces is very deep and mysterious. Pisces is a manifester too. Now Saturn though is rule orienting. It's always kind of like constricting. It's kind of like squeezing you out. So, so it's, um, it, it's going to be an interesting time. There, um, it can be used for some positive. I, I do feel like when Saturn energy does kind of do that squeeze on Pisces, it could get you to be a little bit more focused. But I don't necessarily know if it'll be comfortable. So let's see. Let's see. Now that starts, that starts in March, but you may be feeling the squeeze now. Okay, let's see. Higher power, Holy Spirit. What do you want to tell our Pisces for the 10th, 11th, and 12th? What do you have for our Pisces here? What do you have? What do you have? Be aware. I do not find, I do not feel like that is something that, like that's like, oh, be aware. Oh my goodness, something's jumping out at you. I just feel like you need to be a little bit less in the dream world and more and be present in the real world so there is that you know when our when our crown chakras and when our well a lot of our chakras but we're going to focus like when our when our third eye and our crown chakras are too open it it makes us t it helps us or it keeps us more in that spiritual realm and so we need to kind of do a reset with that um you know kind of like you know it's kind of like that little like, oh, like a lens, like a lens on a camera. It opens and shuts, but sometimes it's like the lens is too open and there's too much vibration coming through. There's too many messages coming through and it can be very uncomfortable. So I think you need to, you know, do some grounding, be a little bit more focused. And, you know, there, there's, there's ways to do that. There is ways, there are ways, there are ways to do that. Okay, let's see what the cards have to say. First card is... The three of fire. Well, I love this one. The three of fire. Three has creativity, celebration. It is also the power of three. Fire is our Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Remember, Aries, Jupiter's and Aries, which is a very positive force right now. We just had that Leo full moon. Again, a very strong pushing you forward force. The three of fire, you know, say the three of fire is, is like things opening up for you, looking at all your possibilities, looking at all that you've accomplished, looking at what more you want to do, maybe resting a little bit in what you've already done, but it's getting you ready for your, you know, for, for what more, what more, what more, what more is there, what more do I want? And again, my Pisces, what I was saying, you are manifestors. I don't say that. I don't say that about, a, um, no, I mean, there's times for the other uh, signs, but my Pisces, I see this. I have seen this. You are a manifester. Put it out there what it is you've been wanting, what more you've been wanting, and, and stop the butts, okay? And if you've been watching, you know what that's all about. Anyway, abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time, making long-term plans. There's something very magical about this. There's something, you know, I mean, this is like, Again, I think you, again, be aware, be aware, you know, keep, you know, that, 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 that camera lens, don't, I mean, it's like, yes, we have to have, we have to have the spiritual part of us, because that does help you with your abundance and help you with your manifesting, 
but again, there is some part of it is that you also need to be doing the, you know, you need to be in the world. You need to be doing the work. You need to be watchful of the changes, okay? Next card, reversed. Release, release. So we have a, th a one, three. One is a new beginning. Ten is a transition. Three, again, what we just talked about. One plus three is a four. Stability, organization, and leadership. This is a major arcana. This is an archangel energy card. This is the death card in traditional tarot. It is not something to be afraid of, but it is a change. It is a transition. It is a, you know, going from one place to another. It is saying goodbye and saying hello, okay? Something is ending for you. And again, I just have this, like, you just have to be aware. And it's it's one of those times, you know, it's kind of like the four of fire where I, where I talk about, you know, um, you're engaged, you get married. It, but, it, it, you know, you're pregnant, you go through labor, you give birth. It is a change. It's not always an easy change, but I do feel in this case, especially with this card next to it, so we have a 313 energy here, I do feel like it's a welcomed change. It's one that you have been waiting for. It's one that you have been wanting. It's opening up doors for you. So, the end of a phase or situation. Spiritual transformation. Time to move on. Let's see. Archangel Azrael. The angel who is supposed to be meeting you and help to transition you. Here we go. I'm kind of noticing with this, even though, okay, let's see if I can get my focus in. Um, might have to, uh, let's see if we can focus this better. My focus goes in and out with these cards. Now, yeah, here we go. Let's see. Oh, there we go. It, there is, I mean, there is some clarity, but there is also a little bit of a haze or because we're not necessarily... We don't quite know what's after, what's on the other side, what's on the other side of the veil. Okay, let's see what else we might have. So 313, we have a 17. Now again, Major Arcana, um, major, you know, Archangel Energy, Archangel Jophiel. Jophiel is, has a really um, positive energy. Well, they all, they can all have very positive energies, but a very creative energy at the same time. The star is all about hope. It's all about, you know, what do you wish for? What are you waiting for? What are you wanting? Again, you know, you know, when I wish upon a star, you know, starlight, star bright. Things, there's always hope. There's always that next step. So we have that 17 energy, one, zero again. Seven is a divine energy, divine opportunity, divine interference sometimes. So sometimes it's like your plans may not necessarily be the way you want it, but it's going to be the best for you. And one plus seven is an eight, unlimited opportunities and possibilities. Happy times. Make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. You are on the right path. So I like that. I like this a lot. The release, don't be afraid of that at all. It, it just opens doors for you. and it, it. But then it shuts doors. It shuts doors. And it's kind of like once you go through it, nope, you can't come back. Okay, so let's see what we have going on. Higher power with these cards. What else would you like to tell our Pisces? What else would you like to tell our Pisces? We've got the three energies. We've got the one and the ten energies. So let's see. We have a 33 energy, I think, if we add that all up. So that, and that's a 33, so 3-3. Three, three. Let's see what else we might have. For my Pisces. Okay. Well, here we have a three again. So this is, actually, if this is purpley, yeah, this looks like this is purpley. Um, if, the, if it's purple, I get, um, it's so close to, um, no, this is, this is it. Three, this is three of fire. You can't quite see it. It looks bluer on the camera. But um, this is the three of fire. This is confirmation for the three of fire. This talks about partnerships and alliances. This talks about abundance, things looking very good. Have patience at this time. Also, make long-term plans. So this is confirmation to this. Okay, let's see. 
Angels of abundance. Maybe you can confirm a little bit more, or maybe maybe you will confirm a little bit more. What else do we have for our Pisces? What else would we have for our Pisces? Can you tell us for this weekend? So there's some change. There's a change coming, but it's a very hopeful change. It's a very positive change, you know. So let's see. Let's see what else we might have. It's a okay. So raise or promotion. Congratulations. Well, this is an increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. So we have a couple of, we have abundance, we have abundance. We, you know, this, even though it doesn't say abundance, this is the same card as that. So there is abundance in your future. Here we go. Let's see. Crystal or energy. What do we have for our Pisces? What else do we have for our Pisces? What would be helpful for our Pisces? What would be helpful for our Pisces? Here we go. Here we are. Peridot. I know, I like to say peridot, but I know it's peridot. Oh, well, well-being, attracting money again. Good luck charm, healing, heartbreak. Hmm. Attracting money, I like that. Okay. I told you I would use, at least if you watched the, um, the, the breakthrough video, I told you I was going to ask the angels for answers. Now, please remember, don't make life choices based on this, but let me know. Let me know what happens anyway. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we've got going on here. My Pisces, angels, Pisces, answers, questions. Here we are. Remember, sometimes they're very ambiguous. Sometimes they're yes or no. Here we go. Ask your angels. So the question, whatever that is, the answer, ask your angels. Hmm. Okay. I know that I told you, I told you not to be too much with the, you know, but yet at the same time, ask your angels. Okay, so my Pisces. Please take that time, comment, let me know. Also, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. I'm posting on YouTube and Rumble now, so we will see what we see. As always, though, my Pisces, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.